All right, it looks like we got a new set of weapons and armor, and now we got to see if it's time to switch over to them. We'll start off with the weapons and the new rayar. I was about to say razor, rare weapons. They actually come with a new power uh, compared to Fluke Guard. So I have both here with both Fix of Fatale too. I just was lucky enough to get one. So for the rayar weapons, they have a total of 10, well, 1,098 damage. Now that's four more damage than the Flugel Guard series, but that doesn't mean we, we you should immediately switch them, right? Let's take a look at the potential of these weapons. Let's take a look here. Now if we go to our rare blades and check out the conduction form at level six. It looks like the potency is plus 36%, and then you get plus five potency for your PAs and techniques only so this does not include normal attacks or skills this is just your photon arts and techniques and then included is a pp consumption plus 10 percent so you use up 10 percent more of your photon power compared to the flugel uh, the flugel guard which is 37 percent potency but you will receive a support effect if you use your photon blasts which lasts 120 seconds and I believe it stacks. So tier one is, I think, less uh, photon power consumption, while the second tier is 5% critical hit rate uh, boost, I believe. So probably the focal guard is best if this effect was constantly on. But for the most part, I think the rare weapons kind of beat this out, depending on your class. I mean, if you were maybe a fighter or, you know, a class that uses a lot of normals, maybe the focal guard would be a better weapon to stick with but if you use a lot of pas or techniques then rare seems to be the, the go-to weapon and you know what's more we also have new armor that are nine star and i also obtained them here we have octos but now we have how you pronounce this aina ina i'm gonna call it Ina armor for now so we get the new Ina armor which drops basically the same places as the Rayar weapons. I'll explain uh, where those drop. And we get this orange one, which gives you a whopping 5.5% damage per uh, damage modifier. So that's melee, precision, and technique. Now, uh, these gears only give you a plus 20 HP and plus 2 PP. So it's kind of like a, a uh, mid-range or uh, this is a, 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 a size fits all type of armor. We do have other variants, the VO and the Vita. So the VO would be focused on giving you photon power, which is plus six. And then the Vita, which I don't have right now, but it's easy to get, is plus 30 HP. Um, you cannot sell or trade the orange version of the iron armor, but you can sell the VO and the Vitas. Now, for any of this to drop, you will have to go to either Rage or Gorge uh, or Belagana Ruins. I think it's called Belagana Ruins. You can even do the UQs, the new UQs that were updated, which is uh, Remnants of Ambition and Kavar's Mining Rig. And then furthermore, you can also obtain the materials needed through all of these areas and exchange them for a Rayar weapon. You can't exchange for the armors, like the Lucille armor in this version for some reason, but you can still easily obtain this if you spend about an hour and or two in the, ra uh, we call it Rager Gorge, or in Balagana Ruins, you can easily get this armor that way. Now, there was an update where they included new red boxes in all the explorable sectors of Kavaris. Uh, there should be at least three red boxes in each area, but I think there's four in West Kavaris. And they all, if you collect them all, you should have about half the materials needed in order to exchange uh, the materials for a rare weapon of your choice. We also have uh, access to an exchange shop option. I don't know if I can access it here. Probably not. No. But if you were to go to the Arx Record Exchange Shop, you can actually exchange your Arx Record badges for a mk1 version of the rayar weapon so you can use that to multi-weapon your uh normal rayar weapon instead of having to you know go out and collect all the materials to get another rayar weapon and multi-weapon so i think this is a good way for free-to-play players to really get up there to the highest damage they possibly can uh this is the update now there's no new augments per se yet 
Uh, we haven't seen anything like the Kavaras or the high uh, Kavaras Domino or anything like that. So I would say, or I would recommend everyone to, you know, just maybe throw some LCs on there. And if you're a free to play player, definitely jump onto that new armor and weapons and put your LC augments on there. Now, if you want the best in slot, uh, I would suggest getting the rare weapon along with the, the iron armor VO because since the rare weapons actually use 10% more of uh, photon power, you want a little bit of extra photon power in order to make up for that. Having Performa or Influenza on your armor can also help with that. Hopefully you get lucky to get that, Fixa. You'll just have to see if you can maybe randomly get it through uh, the enhancement uh, shop. But other than that, if you are already maxed out and at your best in slot, it, if, you, if you're if you low on Masetta, I wouldn't suggest trying to upgrade right away. Just wait a little bit because, you know, they might release a Belta Arma. I don't know. Was it a like Belta Arga and she's a version of these armors and they may be easier to get? I don't know yet. And we haven't seen, again, the Kavara's High Domina, whatever you want to call it, or any new augments yet. So for at best in slot players, wait a little bit for free to play players who, you know, only mostly use LC, jump in there, get that, get those new weapons and armors. It's worth it. And anyway, I think that should be the end of the video. I thank you for uh, listening to me uh, talk about weapons and armor for once in this channel. I will see you all later. Thank you and have a good one.